It's Ted Ray in Raise a Lot. Kitty, will you stop fidgeting and walking about the kitchen? I can't concentrate on my newspaper. Well, I'm sorry, Ted. I can't help it. Look at these curtains. They're absolutely filthy. Oh, and look, there's a spider up there in the corner, too. Yeah, and there's another big one just going down the back of your neck. Oh, no, where? Yeah. Oh, get it off. Get it off. April Fool. Oh. <laughs> oh, you. You don't care what the place looks like. You're a man. Go on. <laughs> You've been looking at my birth certificate again. Yeah. <laughs> Women can't stand dirty kitchens like men. No. Besides, it's spring, and everything has to be cleaned up in spring. Why don't you tell that to Max Miller? Yeah. <laughs> oh, a fat lot of sympathy I get from you. The very least you can do, Ted, is give me a hand. Don't give me that. No. For heaven's sake, what do we employ a daily help for? It's like enclosing a stamped addressed envelope when you pay your income tax. <laughs> Ted, will you please let me finish? Mrs. Easy hasn't been here for three whole days. Who does she think she is? Well, maybe she's not well. The nerve of these people. She'll be around for her money, I expect. Huh? But she won't come here and do the work. Ted, perhaps she's ill. Perhaps she... Oh, Kitty. Mm -hmm. I hope nothing's happened to the poor old soul. Oh, you are, you see. Well, anyway, just put this apron on and give me a hand, huh? Yeah. You know, I'm fond of the old girl in a way, Kitty. I know, you know? that, darling, I know. Well, just slip this apron on over your head and tie the bow at the back, will you, Ted? Yeah. Poor Mrs. E. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you putting this apron on me for? Well, I thought maybe you'd like to help me. You, oh, 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 you, oh, you, you're crafty. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you are. Oh, you are crafty. <laughs> well, anyway, wait a minute. You can't wash up until I get these clothes out of the sink. I've got them in there to soak. Oh, all right. I'll just pull the plug out of the sink. <laughs> You know, I do think Mrs. Easy might have let us know. Yeah. Open the door, will you, Kitty? Yes, Ted. Why, Mrs. Easy? Ted, Ted, look, it's Mrs. Easy. Mrs. Easy. Uh... Where have you been? Now then, don't you take that tone with me, Mastermind. <laughs> I shan't be here to do for you no more. Huh? I must ask you to accept my recitation. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, Mr. Easy has came into money. What's that? He's had a windfall of 3,000 pounds. <laughs> 3,000 quid? Good heavens, where did he get it? Well, there's no harm in informing you. The old neighbourhood will know it sooner or later. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was left to Mr. E by Sir Harry Gotrocks. You mean the eccentric millionaire? No less. Well, uh, who is he, Ted? You know Sir Harry Gotlocks. No, I don't. You know the fellow who started with the handcart selling pancakes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, when he died, he left stacks. <laughs> <laughs> now, that is right. Yeah. He left Mr. E the money because he once done Sir Harry a very great favour. What was that? Well, it was down at South End some years ago. Yes? Mr. E and Sir Harry were sharing a plate of winkles... And Mr. E lent Sir Harry his pin. <laughs> so that's what made him shell out, eh? Uh, look, uh, Mrs. Easy, just because your husband's got this money, it, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to leave us, does it? I'm afraid so. It'd look a bit silly, me, washing the doorstep with a Persian lamb. <laughs> Persian lamb? Yes, and a West End hairdo. West End hairdo? Oh, yes, my old man says he's not having more cheesy weezies falling into someone else's bucket. <laughs> now, look, be reasonable, Mrs. Easy. You know you won't be happy sitting at home with nothing to do. I shall have plenty to do after I swept up my old man's cigar ash. He's going to give me some pin money. Yes. Pin money? Yes. I've got to stick a pin in the paper and pick out all the winners for him. <laughs> The wind does a hesket, a starter. Now, look, Mrs. Easy, I don't think you quite understand. Look, let, listen to me. I, I wouldn't tell you the wrong thing. You mustn't give up your job. You know, 
We, we like you, Mrs. Easy. We, we love you. We've come to look upon you as part of the furniture. Oh, no, and you won't be able to sit on me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I must be going now, Mrs. Ray. Yes. It's uh, nice to have done for you. Yes, well, thank you, Mrs. Easy. Uh, oh, uh, and if you care to come round to my place, uh, Mr. Ray, I may be able to help your wife out. With a couple of days' work? No, with a couple of pairs of old shoes. <laughs> I'm getting new ones. A bon sueur. Bon <laughs> Now, there you are, Kitty. There goes your daily help. Oh, Ted, we'll never see her again now she's coming to 3,000 pounds. What are we going to do? Don't you worry about that, Kitty. I know human nature. Mrs. Easy won't be happy unless she's working. Huh? She'll be back, just you mark my words. <laughs> What did I tell you? Ah. She couldn't even get away from the house. But Ted, Ted, be nice to her. All right, Kitty. Yes. No worry. Right. I'll be nice mm -hmm. to her. Welcome back, dear. Welcome back. Welcome back? I'm not one of the roving kind. <laughs> I am the green gorosa. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes. And I must say, in that apron, you look like a robin a redbreast. <laughs> Find the funny stuff, just hand over the green grocery. Oh, right! It comes to 13 and 3. 13 and 3? That's all right! Potatoes, tomatoes, greens, great, fruit, and bananas! <laughs> Wait a minute! 13 and 3 just for this lot? Oh, no! That's 11 and 3! But what's the other two bob for? A new bob. <laughs> but there isn't any. I know. I'm bringing the a new bob on Friday. <laughs> and my wife. Just a moment, my friend. My wife will pay you on Friday. <laughs> Good morning. Who was it, Ted? The go the green girl. Oh. <laughs> Darling. Do you think Mrs. Easy will be happy? Well, with 3,000 pounds, at least she can be miserable in comfort. <laughs> Why don't you forget Mrs. Easy? She doesn't care about us, Kitty. Mm. Hello, Ted. Oh. Have you been round to see Mrs. Easy? Mm. Was she pleased to see you? Did she say she was coming back? Yes, no, not Pygmalion likely. Oh. <laughs> I wish I'd never gone to see the woman in the first place. I didn't want to go, you know that. Yes, I know. Do you think the money's made any difference? Well, I don't know. I funny set up round there. Yeah. I don't know about Mrs. Easy, but an old man's doing all right. Really? Yeah. He was sitting in the kitchen with his feet in a mustard bath mm -hmm. and sucking a bottle of scotch through a straw. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ted, I can't keep the house clean on my own. It's just too much for me. We're going to have to get somebody. Well, other women do it. Oh, I know that, I know. But other women have husbands who help, remember? Oh, all right. Where's my apron? That's better. Ted, you'll just have to go down to the employment exchange and see if they can help us, huh? See who that is, will you, dear? Yes, all right. It's only us from over the road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the Miss Fitz. Yes. yes. Well, uh, just what can I do for you, ladies? Yes. Well, it's about Wilhelmina again. Yeah, again, yes, again. She wants to take a part-time job in the refrigerator factory. <laughs> <laughs> but she thinks... <laughs> she thinks it might be too cold. Um, cold? Yes, they want me to work in short shifts. <laughs> what, Wilhelmina? It's all easy, it's all. <laughs> I'm lucky to have her, aren't yes, I? Yes, you are, yes. you know. <laughs> used to have a job as a bus conductor, mm -hmm. but you got the stuff. Yes, I clipped a man's ear <laughs> Well, uh, just what's worrying you now? Well, um, you tell her, Wilhelmina. Oh, no, you tell her, Gertrude. <laughs> no, you tell her. No, you. <laughs> well, you see, the man who owns the pet shop yes. has been giving Wilhelmina the glad eye. Oh, yes, he did, yes, I know, I was there. Oh, you yes. were there. Yes. <laughs> Steady girl, down, simmer down. Yes, yes, yes. well, uh, go on, Miss Fett. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Well, <laughs> he's asked Wilhelmina mm -hmm. to lend him a hundred pounds. A hundred 
hundred pounds. What for? He wants her to go into partnership with him, and he's going to buy some chimpanzees. Oh. Yes, he is. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. And uh, tell me, Miss Fitz, what's wrong with that? Well, you see, Wilhelmina's afraid to go down to his shop by herself. Oh, but Miss Fitz, why? Well, when he gets me in the shop after time, he might give me the monkey business. Wilhelmina, <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. Go home at once. Bye-bye, dear. Oh, Kitty, who was that? That uh, that were the two old dears from across the road, Ted. Yes. Will, Wilhelmina, the little ones, looking for a part-time job. Good luck to her. Yeah. Wait a minute. What's that? I got a wonderful idea. Yes? I wonder if she'd come and work for us. What, as a daily help? Well, of course. Oh, don't be silly. You can't ask her to do a thing like that. Ted, why not? Well, Kitty, they come from very nice people, the Fitzes. Really? Yes. The Fitzes do. <laughs> they used to be very well off. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yes, yes. I heard that they used to have fruit on the sideboard even when nobody was ill. <laughs> well, where's my coat? Ted, where are you going? Well, down to the employment exchange. If we're going to have a daily help, we're going to get a real one this mm -hmm. time. A big, fat one who can scrub. Yes. One that looks like an all-in wrestler. So long. Goodbye. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Is this the employment exchange? Yes. Get in the queue. Get in the queue? Yes. I certainly will not stand in any queue. Oh, trying to push in past the regulars, eh? There he is. Shut him up. Now, just a minute, sir Bernard. I thought... I... You thought? You thought? If it wasn't for people like me, this place wouldn't even open. Why? Have you been signing on for long, then? I've been signing on for so long, they make me bring my own ink. <laughs> you want to be ashamed, a fine, strong fellow like you. Why don't you go to work? Because I can't get the other. <laughs> What's the other? The type of work I specialise in. What's that? Making Union Jacks to stick on the top of Everest. <laughs> so long. I'm in the wrong queue here. It's no good. I want to employ somebody, not draw the dough. Ah, here's a gentleman who can help me. Good afternoon. My name is Ray. And my name's Muggs. <laughs> Mr. Muggs. Yes. I've come to you because I want someone to stay at home with my wife and help her with the housework. Oh, you want someone to help your wife with the housework? That's right. Well, now, what does your wife look like? Well, she's smartly dressed. Yes. Long. Yes. And if I might say so, very attractive. Very good. Now, wait till I get me out and coat and I'll go and help her myself. Muggs. <laughs> Muggs. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Look. We, we need a new daily help. The last one has left us. Oh, I see. And why, may I ask? Well, if I must tell you, she left us because she had a windfall. Oh, I see. You know, my sister left us because of a windfall. Really? Yes, she did. During a thunderstorm, she took shelter. Only didn't half strike. Yes? Yes, it struck her. She took the shelter, you see, under an apple tree. Yes. And half an underweight of Cox's cream fell right in her nut. <laughs> well, that's very unfortunate, Muggs. Yes. I'm very sorry. But can you find someone for me, or can't you? Well, sir, you know, the person you really require... Yes? ...is our Mr. Winthrop. Oh, I see. Yes, that's the one. Yes? But if you want him, there's only one thing for it. You see, he'll have to be called. Well, call him, then. Don't stand there like a Charlie. Well, all right, but, um, are you going to pardon me? <laughs> all right, I will. Get him here. Yes. My wife hasn't got a daily help, and she's got me doing the washing up. Very well, then, why don't you say? <clears throat> Mr. Wynne, I throw up a forward for a gentleman whose darling little whippy has got him working like a skippy. So come here in our jiffy, if you'll be another. Mad, yes. Oh, you do choose some awkward time to call me, you know. Good, good. <laughs> Just when I was trying on a plastic pinafore and a mob cap. Hey? Oh. Why is a grown man like you trying on a plastic pinafore and a mob cap? I just got word that Viscountess Boar's looking for a new parlour maid. <laughs> oh, Win, never... Rob, that will do. Will it? You're always after the gals, you are. Always. Now, I'm so sorry, sir, Thank Mr. You. Ray. Thank you very Before much. Before I leave you with Winthrop here, yes. would you mind posting this letter for me when you go out? Eh? You see, I'm claiming the family allowance for my three children. Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't got time. Just as well, I haven't got three children. <laughs> Good riddance to him. Proper slave driver he is. I don't wish to know that. No. Now, look here, Winthrop. Yes. I understand that you handle young domestic servants. Well, if they stand for it, I try, yes. 
right, right. I see you're a man of the world. Oh. Yes, yes. Hey. Now, look, I require a daily help at my house. Right, well, leave your name and address. If anyone suitable arrives, I'll send them along. Thank you, Mr. Winthrop. It's all right. As you go out, look in the waiting room. Might be someone there. You never know. I'll do that. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now, let's have a look. By right, Joe, there is somebody here, too. Looks a bit old for housework, she does. Still, I don't know. Excuse me, madam. Are you looking for work as a daily help? Certainly not. I'm a companion. I was companion to the Duchess of Dillwater till his lordship passed on. Really? I didn't know the old uh, his lordship had gone. <laughs> oh, yes. It was very sad. Yes. Ten o'clock last Monday, he'd left the castle and gone down as usual to the village pawn shop to wind his watch up. <laughs> and on the way back, he fell in the moat. He was drowned, and I was sacked. <laughs> well, uh, how was that? I pulled the wrong bell rope and took the drawbridge up. <laughs> Thank you very much, madam, but I'm afraid you wouldn't be suitable for our little home. Why not? No drawbridge. Good morning. All the best. <laughs> now, for heaven's sake, don't worry, Kitty, mm -hmm. please. You'll have a new help here very soon. Oh, good. Where'd you get her from? Well, I couldn't get any satisfaction at the labor exchange, mm -hmm. so I went to see Madame Ashati at the domestic help agency. Um, um, is she a good woman? Who, Madame Ashati? No, stupid. The woman who's coming to help. Oh, Mrs. McNutt. Mrs. McNutt, huh? <laughs> oh, yes, it's all fixed. We yes. pay her 30 shillings a week and she brings her own knee pads. Oh, well, I hope she's a good worker. Mrs. McNutt? Yeah, Mrs. McNutt. Oh, don't worry about her. No? Oh, no. 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 Uh, she's as strong as a ten-ton tank. A tank, A yeah. don cockle of whopping, she oh. is. <laughs> I picked her myself. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there okay. she is, Kitty. Mm -hmm. Just you let her in and see how you like my housewife's choice. Uh -huh. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, you, Mrs. Ray. Well, if I'm not, I'm going through the wrong trouser pockets. <laughs> Oh, well, now that'll be nice. I just... You what? Yeah. You're who? Who is it, Kitty? Who is it? It's the, uh, it's the daily help that you picked, darling. I see they're streamlining the tanks nowadays. Uh, hello there. Well, hello... Hello there. <laughs> well, then, um, don't mind my husband. He always stands with his mouth open like that. Oh, yes, you. I hope I'm going to fit you. Well, why not? I mean, uh, what's that? Uh, <laughs> The Don Cockle of Whopping, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Marilyn Monroe's got nothing on this kid. You know something? What's that? I'm gonna like working for you. Mm hmm You are? Uh, you'll find the floor cloth under the sink, honey. Uh, I'll show you where it is. Yeah, not you, Errol Flynn. Sorry, dear. <laughs> uh, I'm yeah. just doing this as a part-time job. Huh. I'm over here on a business course. Really? Yeah. How's business? Uh, looks pretty good. There's a pile of dishes right there in the sink. Good. Shall we get on with them, uh, Miss... Uh... Uh, Penny. Penny. Uh -huh. For my thoughts? Not while I'm around, no. <laughs> well, I better just get on with the dishes. You better bye just now. Yes, bye-bye. <laughs> now then, my little one, come here. What's all that about Mrs. McNutt? What was that? I don't know. I don't, not the faintest uh, idea. No. Madame Ashart, must have double-crossed me. You mean you've double-crossed both of us, you and me? Who's and double -crossed I don't know. Listen, I never got that line right all day. Shut up. <laughs> yes. Let's all go day in the I kitchen that and wrong. see what she's doing. Yes, all right, Kate. Uh -huh. Yes, now look here, miss. Have you ever done this kind of work before? Well, no, not really. No, no. Well, I thought not, pet, because you're washing the table mats with a nail brush now. Oh. Now tell me, miss, what made you take this job? I'm working my way through college. Excuse me. Where are you going? Upstairs to find my school cap. Okay. <laughs> you come here. I want to ask you a few things. Excuse me. What's the big idea? You picking a girl like that? I don't know anything about this, Kitty. This isn't the one I saw at Madame Ashati's. Oh, we're back to Madame Ashati now, are we? Well, look, you just keep your distance, Ted. I'm telling you, before you know where you are, she'll be laying her head on your shoulder. Why, do you think it comes off? Now, listen. <laughs> Bluebeard, if you go back in that kitchen, try and remember one little item, will you? I will be watching everything that goes on. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. And if you should do, want to do any deep breathing, my pet, do me a big favor and breathe on the wine glasses and not down the back of her neck. You are so jealous, That's Kitty. That's right. Please, yeah. please, Kitty. And, and there, mm. there is a friendly young girl in mm -hmm. there, miles away from home. Yes, Ted. 
And if she gets too friendly, she'll be miles away from this home, believe me. But, dear... Will you just get your hat and coat, Ted? We are now going to the pictures. The pictures? Yes, right. Oh, Kitty, no, we, no. we can't do that. We can't? Well, why not? Well, Kitty, you don't realize, leave a young girl all alone. I mean, so a, a young girl mm. with a bottle of cooking sherry in the cupboard? No. I mean, we couldn't do it, Kitty. No. Not when she's so lonesome. Mm. They do get lonesome. Yeah. I don't know. I tell you what. What? You go on your own to the pictures. Uh, I don't mind, honest. I don't you mind. You don't mind. No. Uh, if I go on my own, well, yes. thank you, Ted. You're going to be sorry for this. That's right. So that's it. On his own, huh? Well, I'll teach him. I'll show him a thing or two. Uh, I'll ring up that mail escort agency that was advertising in the, the morning's paper. That's what I'll do. Uh, hello? Uh, uh, hello. I'd, I'd like to book a nice, tall, handsome escort, if you don't mind, thank you. About, about 35. Yes, that's right. All right? Oh, yes, yes, an American would be fine. You, you can send him around right away. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, that's better. Now, what was that old saying about the uh, source for the goose? Kitty, for heaven's sake. Uh, What's the matter with you tonight? You're pacing up and down like a teenager waiting for our first date. Mm, you don't know how close to the truth you are, my friend. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> nothing, Ted. Nothing at oh, all. Oh, I thought you said something. No. Answer the door, dear, will you? Penny's busy. Oh, yeah. Penny's busy. You're not kidding. She's been two hours embroidering Ted on your bath towel. <laughs> I know, and it took a bit of doing, too. It said GWR when she started. Oh. <laughs> well, hello there. Yeah. My name is Al K. Traz. Give us a big hello, baby. I'm uh, hot tonight, and I'm coming right in on the beam. Well, wow. Well, won't you come straight in? <laughs> Tell me, are you from the escort service? You are cooking with gas and right on the front burner. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you are strictly swoon fodder, you oh. are. Uh, look, uh, far be it from me to intrude, but when you start talking in English, let me know, will you? <laughs> Who is the gray-haired old creep with the oversized head handles? <laughs> Happens to be my husband. Ah, glad to have you know me, sir. Well, uh, <laughs> now how about it, baby? Let's get smoochy. Let's huh? do that. Uh, Let's get smoochy. Now, just a minute, you, 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 you overdressed college boy. College boy? Do you know anyone who went to Harvard? No, but I know a Swede named Jensen who got three months in Yale. Three months in Yale. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> You're okay, you know, Snowy Thatch. You're great. <laughs> But as for you, baby, you are strictly 3D. Well, thank you. Do you like dancing and necking and dancing and necking? Necking, yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Love it, Mr. Trez. Of course oh, I do. Well, let's get down to the hop hall and lend me your frantic frame for the struggle, baby. <laughs> We'll do that. And if we're dancing, I'll take these shoes off and go upstairs and put on my drag platters, huh? Oh, you are the greatest. Thank you. Oh, the greatest. Now, just a minute, bacon bunce. <laughs> what was that? This was me, Snowy Thatch, remember? <laughs> <laughs> and just because there's snow on the roof, you needn't think the boiler's gone I'll out. I'll take <laughs> Listen. <laughs> if you take my wife dancing, it'll have to be over my dead body. Okay, creep, get rigid. <laughs> All right, now scram. Now, Ted, wait a minute. He's only doing what he's being paid for. Oh, is that so? Yes. Well, now, listen to me. I am not paying anyone to take you out dancing. If he wants to date anyone, he can take a uh, 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 penny. Oh, well, I'm glad you finally learned your lesson, Mr. R. What's that? Now, Mr. Traz, we happen to have with us an American girl named Penny. Uh -huh. I, I really do think she's more your type after all. Well, if she's a dame, she's my type. Uh-huh. All right, then where is she? Where is she? Well, here she is right now. Penny, this is Mr. Al K. Traz. Al! Oh, oh, did that crazy neck wear me? Oh, Penny, what are you doing here? Am I losing my marbles or something? <laughs> You'll be losing more than your marbles if you don't tell me what's going on here. <laughs> Do, do you know this young lady? Do I know this young lady, uh -huh. she says. Are you kidding? As sure as my name is L.K. Traz, this is my girlfriend, Penny Tenchery. Uh -huh. <laughs> Penny Tenchery? Uh -huh. You dog! Ah, oh, babe, 
baby. <laughs> well, this is great. Now, would you two hep cats care to go to the pictures or something? My wife and I would like to be alone. All right, creep. Nice knowing you. So long, pal. So long, Al. So long. Well, now, I've heard everything. Yeah. Al K. Traz and Penny Tenchery. <laughs> Well, Kitty, you can say goodbye to your daily help. You won't see that girl again. Mm -hmm. Any girl who spent an evening out with that Manasseh Maul has really had it. <laughs> I wouldn't have her back at any price, believe me. I was getting sick of seeing you fawning all over her. Fawning that's, all over her? That's right. Oh, I like that. Anyway, look, darling, we don't want to go through all that again. We've got no daily help, so we better set to and wash up. Yeah, I guess we better. And if that's Al K. Traz, I hope he's brought us an interpreter this time. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. I, I've returned... I realize now that a feather in your hat doesn't make you a member of the aristocracy. <laughs> Mrs. Easy. Mr. Ray, can you forgive me? I have bitten the hand that feeds me. Why don't you try using a knife and fork? <laughs> Come in. Who is it, Ted? I... Mrs. Easy. Oh, Mrs. Easy, I didn't ever expect to see you again. And I didn't expect to see you again, neither. Uh -huh. When I shook the dust of your carpets off me elastic-sided boots, yeah. I never thought me hands would darken your tea clothes again. <laughs> well, why are you here, then, eh? Well, if you'll have me, I've come back to work for you. To work for us? Yes. Oh. I'm resuming my career. <laughs> I would like to pick up the threads of your Persian rug again. Well, we'd love that, but I don't understand, Mrs. Easy. What about the fortune you inherited? Gone. Gone? Frittered away. Oh, no. How did it happen? That good-for-nothing husband of mine used the money to buy shares in a brewery down in Kent and the manager upped it. Oh. <laughs> I like it. Kent. Yes, tops. That's good. Yes, That's good. good. Yeah. Yes, it proves that the old proverb was right. Yes. You cannot make a silk person out of a man who drinks pig's ear. <laughs> you know, I, she's put it rather badly, but I know what she means. Yes. And it proves that the other proverb was right, too. What was that, Tim? Easy go. Easy come back. <laughs> Listening to Ted Ray and Ray's a Laugh with Kitty Blewett, Peter Sellers, Patricia Hayes, Charles Hawtrey, and Kenneth Connor. The BBC Variety Orchestra was conducted by Paul Fennelly, and the programme was written by Eddie McGuire, George Watmore, and Ted Ray. Produced by George Ince. <laughs>